Hello and welcome back to The Doctor's Garage here on YouTube. So today you join me for a really, really exciting video, probably the most exciting video I've put out here on the channel. And I'm in the sunny Alps, as you can probably see, and today I'm with a brand new Land Rover Defender 110 right here. And today we're going to be taking this car on the track. And out here in the Alps, it's not a normal tarmac, asphalt track. This is a track made of pure ice. So we're taking this car ice driving. So a sheet ice race track out in a town here in France called Abondance. So we're going to be drifting this car, getting it sideways, but also learning more about car control, how the four-wheel drive system on the Defender handles, and really what it's like to drive on snow and ice. Now, this car itself is on all-season tyres, so not snow tyres. So it'll be interesting to see how that handles on ice and really how well it goes around corners when you lose traction and lose grip. So come with me today on this journey and uh, let's get going. We're down at Abundance now, down at the track. Now it's a lot colder down here because we're down in the valley, which is why the ice track's here, so it stays nice and cold. We're inside at the moment, they've got like a little hut, like a little cabin, and in here they've got a bit of a shop, a uh, place where you book in, and you can also watch the track as well. So we're here at the moment, and to start things off, you have a bit of a brief, go out with one of the drivers, uh, and you, you drive the car, they sit in the passenger seat. They're the guys that are here all the time, so they're like professional ice drivers, really. So we're gonna go out in the Defender, and I think the biggest challenge, actually, is gonna be working out the electronics to turn off things like the diff, turn off the traction control, and actually work out how to do that. But then we're gonna go out, I'm gonna go for a drive to start with, kind of get to grips with going around really slowly, and then slowly work my way up to getting a bit quicker and a bit quicker. Now, because it's on ice, actually everything happens quite slowly which is quite nice so you can sort of build up your confidence and kind of get going with it so i'm going to do that and then a professional driver is going to go out and take a defender out and i'm going to go in the passenger seat with them so i'll be taking you on that journey today too in this video so let's go out on track and see what's happening <laughs> Okay, gas. Okay, yeah. This is better here, I think. The theme feels better. Mm. A bit of gas. <laughs> <laughs> On the left. And gas. Wait. And gas. Perfect. Gas, 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 that's a good one. <laughs> okay. So, so I've been out on the track. It was really good fun. I had my instructor with me the whole time. And actually, I did start to get better, start to understand a bit more about when to accelerate and how not to brake. And I think the natural instinct is you want to put the brakes on as soon as it starts slipping. But actually, you kind of got to let it go on ice. And then when you want to kind of start moving forward again, accelerate. And I think the difference is here they have a couple of Porsche Caymans and also an Alpina as well. And the difference with those cars, I guess, has been pure rear wheel drive is they're quite easy to get into the slide and they'll just keep spinning around. Whereas with something like a Defender, even with everything turned off with four wheel drive action, it kind of always wants to propel you forward, always wants to get you out of the slide. And so 
it's a bit challenging to kind of get it going and actually maintain it in the slide but i had some really good ones and i'll try and put them in a youtube video when i uh, edit this but some really good ones where i kind of swung turn to turn and it was really good fun and actually got me thinking this is uh it's pretty good practice actually on ice to then you know if you're going a bit faster and you get slip on gravel or mud or something like that actually it's quite similar in a way from a car control point of view We've just got to wait for about 10 minutes or so, and then we're going out with the instructor, which will be really good fun just to see what he can do with a Defender 110. It's the first time he's ever driven a Defender 110 on ice, the new one at least. So it's going to be good to see whether he can kind of continue that further and get a bit more of a slide than I did, and kind of hopefully link all the turns together. So I'll be doing some footage uh, inside the car with my, my phone and also holding it outside as well. So let's see what that looks like with him behind the wheel. Uh, so, So that's really good being out with the instructor and I hope you've enjoyed that little video that I did here on YouTube. Something a bit different to what I normally film, but nevertheless, something a bit different, trying to get a new Defender 110 sideways and ice, and I think we managed it. So if you enjoyed the channel, click subscribe, like this video, and let me know what you think in the comments below about driving your Defenders off-road and particularly on snow and ice. And I'll see you guys in the next video.